done. Miracle Monday. You have got your miracle. You are a candidate of miracle. It is done. It has been prophesied. It has been decreed. It has been pronounced. It has been declared. It is done. Amen. Amen. Don't see that yet. Just check yourself first. The miracle is there already. Check yourself. And as you see the miracle, come over quickly. Come and meet our leaders here in the front of Hall 5. Quickly. Yes. Jubilation. Miracle. Miracle. Put your hands together for Jesus. The Lord is working. The Lord is working. I can see the crutch is up there. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let the person come out and testify. I can see it. The woman carrying crutches lifted up at the back of all three. Come out quickly and check yourself. God is working already. God is working. Check yourself. Check yourself. And as you see the miracle, come to the front of our five. Let her come quickly. Come quickly. We want to hear the testimony. We want to rejoice together. We want to celebrate. This is a miracle Monday. Miracle Monday. And remember tomorrow, triumphant. Triumphant. Today, miracle. Yes, you can't live here without your miracle. Yes, let her come. Come, 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 come. Put your hands together for Jesus. Jubilation. Celebration. Miracle, 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 miracle. Okay, it's the woman carrying the cross. There's a man that is walking. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Put your hands together for Jesus once again. The Lord is working. God of miracle is working. Yes, yes, yes. Check yourself. And as you see the miracle, come, come to the hall of, of to the front of all five. Our pastors, coordinators, please come and meet them here. Attend to them. Get the NFD. We want to know what God has done for them. We want to know what the Lord has done. Let them come out quickly. Come quickly. You couldn't do something before, begin to do it now. You couldn't see before, open your eyes, begin to see. You couldn't move your hand or your leg before, move it now. Move it now. Speak to them that are there for dumb, they will respond. Check them up. The Lord has done it already. Don't go yet. We want to listen to testimonies. Don't go yet. We want to listen to testimony. The section, the, the media section, get ready also. We'll be coming over to hear some testimonies very shortly from the media section. Quickly down here, let's get them ready. Let us know as soon as the first person is ready. We want to know once you are ready with the first testifier. God bless you. You can sit down. You can sit down expecting to rejoice and celebrate with our brethren that are testifying. We will rejoice together. We will celebrate together. We will glorify God together. Amen. Miracle Monday. The God of miracles has done it. The God of miracles is walking. The God of miracles is at work. You will not be left out. You will not be left behind. Your miracle is yours. Quickly, let's get the first testifier ready. And while we are waiting, let's hear from the media section. Media section, are you ready? Testimony from the media section. Let's get ready. We want to hear the testimony. We need uh, more of the leaders, group pastors, and regional overseers to report in front of all five to attend to those who have come out to testify. Group pastors and regional overseers, quickly. Report in the front of Hall 5. Don't go yet. Stay where you are. Very shortly, we want to hear what God has done for our brethren. The miracle power of God has worked wonder tonight. And you will receive.
the testimony so as to receive more faith. You will hear the testimony so as to get more grace, more faith to receive bigger miracles. Quickly, quickly. Yes, we are ready now. The first person. Let's have the first testifier. If you check yourself, you see the miracle come quickly to the front of all five. Tell us your name, where you come from, what the problem was, and what God has done. Please go straight to the point so we can give chance to many more people to testify. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My name is Sunday David. I'm from Lube region. I want to testify the goodness of God upon my life. Like since last December, I've not been able to walk with my leg. I went to the hospital and the doctor told me I was having a vascular necrosis, that I needed a hip replacement surgery. Since then, I've not been able to use this leg to walk. But as the man of God finished praying, I stood up and I started walking. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. The talk of surgery, hip replacement, but the Lord has done it. The Lord has done it. Now he can walk. God performed the miracle. God has done the surgery. And the healing is permanent in Jesus' name. Amen. That's the great miracle working power of our great God. Believe God for yours, and you come and testify as you receive your miracle. The second testifier. Praise Allah. Praise Master Jesus. I want to appreciate the name of the Lord for what the Lord did in my life in 2018 that, that Baba came. During that 2018, I was having a challenge that lasted about six to seven years with me. And what is this allergy is that I used to have a terrible mouth odor. The mouth odor is so terrible that no how I will brush the thing with this smell. But after our father and the Lord came, I made up my mind that God, you will heal me of this infirmity. And the Lord healed me of the infirmity. And now I'm, I'm totally free from mouth odor. May the name of the Lord be glorified in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. The mouth of God disappear. The power of the mighty God walking through the servant of God as torture, healer. You are also a miracle candidate. You receive yours in Jesus' name. Next testifier. Praise the Lord. My name is Magdalene. Last Saturday, I have an headache, and I told my mom, my mom buy me drugs, and the drug could not avail, and, and when my, and when they said that the man of God is coming, I was happy in my spirit, but the headache was still there, and I was not comfortable. My mom applied me drugs. The drugs could not avail, but when I was coming here today, the headache was too much. When they shout, my head is like they are pumping something on my head. When the man of God say we should lay hand on our hair, when I lay my hands on my hair, after the prayer of the man of God, I didn't feel any pain again. I say, may the name of the Lord be praised in Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Put your hands together for Jesus. Amen. Whatever is responsible for the pounding in the head, causing aches and pains, the power of God has rolled out the way. And she is free and free indeed. Remain free in Jesus' name. Next testifier. Praise the Lord. My name is Brad Samuel Judah Adeleko. Actually, I am from a Guanipa district, group of districts. In fact, I had the challenges for past 2005 when things turned around against me. And uh, I keep on crying to 
government Nigerian police for intervention at the General Federations, DSS, and EFCC. Because I found myself under what you call ritual, machi ritual. So I keep on praying, praying. But it's unfortunate that we never write petition to police, no reply, until I went to Akure recently, my own town. Somebody called me that they are pity for my condition. I've suffered too much, both police and everybody. That was the problem, that they couldn't find my petition whenever I said I submitted it. Then I went for OSRC, that's on those state television. I was interviewed four times for four weeks. So along the interview, people started, because they saw me on television, they started calling me and say, is the voter still persist? I said, yes. And they now told me that this is what is really happening. Whenever I submitted a petition like this, the people that the thing is affected, which is from the high hierarchy, they will go there, they will change my letter heading, they will put their own. The one I signed at the back, they will change it, they will put their own. So by the time they minuted to it, maybe to the attorney general, when he minuted to it to the next office, then they will call the number of the people that's the, on the letter heading, which my own has already removed. And this has been like that since 2005. I keep on praying, what's the matter? What's the problem? Until the secret was leaked out. This just March 2021, I was weeping. They said that's the way they be handling me in Abuja, that all my document is with the same people. Claim me what I be, I, I be crying after, that they are the one uh, and the problem is affecting. That is not me, because the, everything about the, the address, the, the, the address, the, the telephone number, everything, and the signature contain the, uh, the details of the, of the petitions. But in the information inside contain my information. But the address and the phone number, everything, contain their home. So, but this time around, I give God the glory. I went with this document today to the Minister, Minister of Health to see the minister over the matter because I have a lot of petition there, but it has been changed. Then to the, to the, to the FCID, they now say, what are we do? Since pastor, our pastor is, in, is, is, is around, that I shall alert the security with their church members. That is what I've been passing through. That I should cry out. That, that if I hear the people behind the matter, I won't believe it. Yes, sir. Yes. So, so I, I really give God the glory for the intervention that God has given me in this program. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The Lord, the great advocate, has intervened in the life of our brother and all that have been blocking his way and progress. The Lord has rolled them away and God is working for you. I say God is working for you. He will, he will defend you in Jesus' name. The next testifier. Praise the Lord. Please tell us briefly your name, where you come from, the problem that was there and what God has done. Be very brief, please, so that we can give chance to more people. By the special grace of God, my name is Sister Ada Cecilia from Buari Region, Daraki Group, Pad District. I want to appreciate God for what he has done for me in this program. 2018 December, three days, two days to December retreat, I was seriously down for typhoid. And I was having this severe headache that at times I could not stand. And b since that 2018 till 2018 and 2019, every blessed day I must shave my hair because of the headache. And I... I, I undergone a series of treatment and taking local house, but it will go to come, it will go to come. Till uh, late last year, that was 2020, the thing, the thing came back again. After I prayed I received treatment, it went back again. But when I was coming into the program today, I was having severe headaches, serious one that during the during the um, salvation prayer, I have to see that I could not stand because of the headache, and I believe God that before this time I was I, I, I said to myself that whatever problem I have, the problem should remain there till I come to Kado. And by the special grace of God, when I come here today after the prayer, the headache ceases, as in the headache ceases. Not only that, I was burdened before now because of some surrounding situation but when the choir were ministering i got 
serious relief as if they gave me they gave me a special advice or in fact I really thank God for what the Lord has done for me. Praise the Lord! The pain was serious, the pain was severe, but serious relief has come. Our God has done it for, you, for her. We do yours in Jesus' name. Amen. Yes. Praise the Lord! Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. My name is... By the, thank you, Jesus. I'm so grateful. Praise the Lord. By the grace of my name is Taiwo John. I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful. So happy. I'm excited. I'm happy this evening. So grateful to God that he has saved me from my sins. Praise the Lord. He has saved me today. I mean, I've been following God. I've, wanted, I've always wanted God to interrupt in my life. And today was that day. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I mean, for all, of all the things, of all that, the things that God has done for me, that is number one. Praise the Lord. And apart from that, I always have these severe pains in my neck and uh, on my, um, other parts of my body, in every, from my head. So I, I'm always having those kind of pain, and it's been severe, and it been, <laughs> I've been not seeing it and trying to put it on, but I just felt like I believe God. I believe that believe God, and he, he, I'm not, I, I don't have those, I shall not have those problems again. This evening and tonight was that night. I received total relief, total deliverance. So I was delivered. Praise the Lord! Hallelujah! Total healing, total deliverance, total relief, and it's total and total forever in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Yes, next testifier. Eba mi nyolua logo. Eba mi jesu logo. Modupa ni owo Olorun oruko mi ni Elizabeth Otulano. Mo wa lati phase 4 district. At um Lati 1999. Mo ni isoro. Ara mi o ya mo gba bere. Bi mo se gba bere yen. Lati igba yen. O koko wu igba to ya o le omi. Igba to ya Obe, o mi bere si jade o tu ya o bere si ni yun mi o le yun mi lati aro titi di osan nigba mi ti ma ma yun ta ma dumo mi nigba to ya awa mata mi o le se be lati ale titi di aro ti mi ni sun o ma ma po se nta mi be lo ma ma yun mi o continue lati 1999 december 10 titi di ojo alami si ti pade ibere baba wa nu oluwa so yi pe ohun ko a soro fun olorun bi mo ni na mo ni ko so ohun to soro fun olorun mo sha ka ibe yen o da bi pe mi o ka ibe ri mo continue sugba ngba to di ojo saturday ni koroko ro miraku ni mori ibi ti mo joko si tori pe ibe o ti je lati bi yi titi je bi yi O je awo lokan bo ibe sugbon ibi si mo joko si mo kan ri kan o kan le o kan le be ni nigba ti mo fi awa kan be mo ri wi pe agba pe won le bi igba ti won le cement o wa ni be mo sun mo ji mo fi mo sun le be iyan kan ekeji ni ojo ojimo nigba ti ma ma wa nu oluwa ti won na wa lati bi yi Emi wa ni kubu a verse 4 sugbon mo tun ri miracle ni ibeyan tin ba si ibeyan e mo pe ot ibe nfin pati won da na edu ni bi kan to ti jona be ni bi yi ni ri leyin ti eleyi o nigba to ya mama na wa lati bi owo yen eyan duro si waju mi fun mo se ma se bayi ice block o kan wa Nasi Benny, Nasi or John, no. Titi Timoshe, why you want to wear a merry? I'd have been by me, see where Timba that were done. I think in Drossy are there fun. Keep on my favor, yet Kitole Jade or Kitole Shem call me. Chumba Nasi or John, no. Modio Mimira, Mori Mira Kuko, Roko, 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 Roko,
Praise the Lord. The name of our sister is Sister Elizabeth. She's from Phase 4 in Abuja here. As she said, since 1999, she took an injection, which led to uh, a kind of swelling, and then it started giving pulse. Uh, since 1999, she has been battling with this. It developed into rashes. It developed into several swellings, and then according to her the place can be said it's rotting but this program she came with faith since the day her father and the lord came she believed the word of the lord as if it has never been read to her before and there and then on saturday according to her she experienced a very very you know very significant impact that it's like a surgery was done a new layer came on that rotting place and, you know, before, it has been difficult for her to take her birth. She said, when her mother and the Lord also came and made that pronouncement, you know, somebody was uh, trying to cover her, but she decided to, you know, shift a little to receive that hand of miracle. That hand came. She said, it's as if they poured cold water on her. She felt calm, and all the challenges she's been having, Everything gone. Praise Everything the name of the gone. Lord. Praise the Lord. The Lord has done it. We do yours in Jesus' name. Amen. We take one more now from here. Some states are online waiting, waiting to testify. After this one, we go to the states. Yes, quickly. Praise the Lord. By the grace of God, my name is Christy Amore, and I'm from... Macranta Group, Wari, Wari Region. And this is my mother here, Grace Amore. I just want to thank God for what God did for her. Growing up as a child, I, was, I grew up to meet my mom suffering from arthritis. And these arthritis have been there for 14 years. And it, it, it became too much. After seven years of the arthritis, her leg became swollen. They took her to hospitals, different hospitals. They took her to Auchi, and they even contemplated on amputating the leg. But she said, instead of amputating legs, she's going to bear the pain. And she really suffered that period. Since then, she has been carrying this pain up and down. And she just came for, for a visit. She came to do a mugwa. And um, she just, when she, when she came, we, they heard, we heard that DS was coming. And she was very happy. She said, thank God, I came for a visit, and God is going to visit me. And actually, on Saturday, on Saturday, I could not attend the program. I was at home. And I, normally, I used to take her to the program and hold her hand because of the road, and the, the leg was really disturbing her. So that day, I couldn't go. I was even worried for her. I said, is she going to come back from the program? So I didn't know that they were going to close on time. After the, the, the crusade, I, was, I wanted to run down to the crusade ground so that they can, can take her home. But I was so surprised I saw her at home. I said, what happened? She said, they have closed. He said, she, she came by herself. I was so surprised. She, when she was coming up the staircase, she was jumping. She, when she was running the second and she was jumpy. I just want to thank God. 14 years of arthritis gone. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Arthritis God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I can walk. I can jump. Hallelujah. Put your hands together for Jesus. Arthritis gone. Gone. Gone forever in Jesus' name. Amen. Those who are here, please still be on cue. We we'll, may have enough time to come back, but if not, then tomorrow, make sure you testify. Let's move to the states and the media section now. We have testimonies pouring in from the social media and from various states. And now we're going to be starting with um, Jalingo. From Jalingo, we'll move to Kano. From Kano, we'll move to Lafia. Now we start with Jalingo. Testimony from Jalingo. Praise the Lord. My name is Queen Haruna. I was having this problem of pipe getting to three years now. When I went from Jalingo, I'm from Jalingo. When I went, when I want to go to toilet, I will use a Vaseline and put it in me before I went to the toilet. And I want to reduce the pain. So I use the Vaseline and blood is coming out of me. So a sister invited me to retreat. So I went there. 
I was expecting my healing, but the word of God that I had there, he blessed my life, even though I am not healing. I came back home. She still invites me to this program again. I went to the first day. The man of God was pr praying. I said, God, this is my time. I want to be healed. This pie will be over today. So he said, receive your healing. I said, amen. The following day, I went to the toilet. I didn't use any Vaseline. I just, not any pains. I see it's not me. I was shocked. What is this? Wow, Jesus, miracle. I say, wow, deeper life, deeper life is good. I worship you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You are free to clap. Those of us who are here, clap and rejoice. We are here. Nini. Testimony from Jalingo. Liban William. The auntie Natasha Takaoni Nan Nazuna Samusaki a Magana Pasto. To me, but then she. Pastor ne ya waska daniba Yesu Kristi ne na gode wa Allah aya bi Allah ko na gode ga nude na ju Praise the Lord our brother's name is Liban William from uh, Adamo state came from Numan Adamo state so he visited uh, here at Taraba State, and at the one of me, uh, this program, one of our district here, inside Jalingo. So, for the past one year, he has this stiffness of neck. He cannot be able to turn his neck this way. But on the 23rd, when the man of God was ministry, after the ministration, uh, the acts for, gave the altar call, so he gave his life to Christ. After giving his life to Christ, the miracles prayer was offered, and then presently, he can turn the neck as he demonstrated, and also the other hand, he can lift it up. So these are the three things the Lord did in his life. Praise the Lord. We now go to Kano State. Kano State. What he did for me. I had accident in 2019, and since then, I have been using these crutches to walk because I, I couldn't walk properly without the crutches. But yesterday, when I came to the service yesterday evening, when the man of God said, "Those using crutches, you will drop it," immediately I claimed it. And after the service, I went from using the crutches, and immediately I got home yesterday. Immediately I got home yesterday. I was at the compound. I was about to step into our house when something just said, Esther, stamp your feet. Uh -uh. I just said, okay. Then I did it. And I wasn't able to do it before. I did it. And I was doing it properly. I said, uh -uh, this thing is working. Though. I said, okay, I will still check. Then this morning, as I woke up, I prepared for this evening program. Then immediately I, 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 I took my Bible. I said, okay, I'll walk from, from my house to this place. And I walked properly, nothing. I didn't leave, nothing. I, I'm, I'm no more using these crutches anymore. I just want to praise and thank the Lord for what he's done for me. Praise the Lord. We now go over to Lafia, Nasarawa State. Lafia, Nasarawa State. My name is Favor. I'm from Kanu State. I want to thank God how God has delivered me from back pain. Anytime I want to sit down, I will not be able to sit down straight. If I sit down straight, my back will be paining me. I have to bend or rest. But now, on Saturday, when the pastor prayed, I don't even know the time. The pain just went off, and I sat down straight, and the pain is gone. Yesterday, when the prayers, I came from my home here with headache. But when the prayer was over, the headache was gone. Praise the Lord. 
That was the second testimony from Kano State. We now move to Lafia, Lafia, Nasarawa State. We now take from the social media while we wait for Lafia to get set. From the social media, Mrs. Doe Wese, who was totally blind, was invited to the crusade. According to her writing, while the GS was still preaching, on Sunday night, yesterday, all of a sudden, she saw a bright light from the screen in the church and started seeing and receiving the message. She started seeing clearly. Praise the Lord. Sister Helen Benedict came to the program with strong pains in her stomach to the extent that she couldn't stand properly. Her heart was also beating seriously. During the prayer of the man of God, the stomach pain disappeared. And at the last amen, she says, I was totally relieved of the heart beating. Praise the Lord. Stanley Abiodun was operated upon last December 2020. Since then, he's been feeling pain. According to his writing, if I'm riding a motorcycle and enter the pothole, I will feel pain. But to the glory of God, after the man of God, our Father in the Lord, prayed, I touched the place and the pain vanished. I went outside the church to confirm this. And I pressed the place again, but no pain again. Praise the Lord. Ayobami Abiodun wrote, By the grace of God, I'm saved. I have received spiritual revival, and my spiritual life is energized. Praise the Lord. Mercy Vincent wrote, At this evening prayer, this Monday evening, during the prayer of the man of God, I felt something like arrows. I was previously feeling neck pain and coughing with blood stain. On Sunday morning during the message, I believed and sought God, no neck pain. And on Monday during the prayers, just this Monday, I saw something like arrows coming out of my body. To the glory of God, I am delivered. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Esther Maxwell wrote, she was in a cab when coming from work and another car hit theirs towards the direction of a tanker. To the glory of God, she was not hot and got home safely. This happened on the 20th of April, 2021. God miraculously delivered her from a life-threatening accident that would have halted her from receiving her blessing from this program. Praise the Lord. From Kachia Kaduna State, Emmanuel John had toothache almost one week now to the extent he could not eat anything because of the pain. Whenever he puts anything in his mouth, the first day of the program, he found out that it's Thursday. He connected through Zoom and phone call. When our GS was preaching, the pain was so serious to the extent that he had to go out and get drugs. But reaching home, the GS started praying. And he joined the prayer while the prayer was on. According to his writing, I did not feel pain anymore. And I did not take any drugs anymore. Up till today, all the pains are gone. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Dorothy Samuel wrote, I had serious backache that had been disturbing me. After the prayer of the man of God on Saturday, I got instantaneously healed. Praise the Lord. Mary Zones wrote, she testified that after the Easter retreat, her baby was running temperature. She had gone to the hospital, run all tests, and with all the medication, the temperature was still high at 40 degrees. But on Friday, she came to Kado. She sat where she could see the GS face to face. And while he was waving his hand, she also waved back at the GS. And she knew that her daughter was healed finally. After the prayer, that temperature disappeared and they are okay now praise the lord Hallelujah. ben wrote 
more than four months pain in the chest disappeared after the prayer of the pastor ministration on Thursday night praise the Lord and that's it for the social media for now praise the Lord is Lafayette ready now or we move on here if they are ready they'll join us later yes the next testifier from here praise the Lord my name is Brother Christian America, and by the grace of God, I am saved. I am from Army Barracks, my Tamar group. I have double testimony. Number one is that, before now, why I changed this Bible and read it? This, about two years ago, I changed the, this Bible. Because the one I was reading before, the fonts, I could not read them uh, well anymore. I have to ch change it and buy this one, the one that has bigger fonts. The, but the concordance at the back of the Bible is still written in small fonts that I still find it difficult to read. This has been my prayer uh, point all this while from the beginning of this crusade. So whenever after they, they say final amen, check up, check up, I open that concordance to know if I'll be able to read it. And I'll see, see that I have not gotten it. Until today, when they were giving testimony, the, just this program, I just... This, the concordance is what I usually use to test my sight. I opened it, and behold, I was, start, I was reading it very clearly, as if it's not the same Bible that I used to struggle with. That's number one miracle. Then, the other one is, on Friday or Saturday, there was a woman that gave testimony of a growth on top of the eyes. And I now remember that, even me, I see I, I have a growth on top of my eyes. When I rubbed checked and rubbed on top of this my right hand i noticed that there's no more nothing there anymore <laughs> praise the lord hallelujah double blessing double miracle the eyes got healed he could read now and study his bible with the concordance that he couldn't what he couldn't do before the growth in the eye gone and get ready your own is here with you receive believe the next testifier, go praise, quick, briefly. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. My name's uh, Stephen Bassi. I gave my life to Christ. Yeah, 1997. See, then the Lord, I've been so great, I've been so kind, I'm so faithful to me. Precisely, tonight, the Lord visited me again. Praise the Lord. Three years ago now, I've been having pains at my right chest due to uh, symptoms of ulcer. So when I went to hospital for a checkup, the doctor told me that what I should be eating, what I should not be eating, when to eat and when not to eat and all of that. Oftentimes, I lay my hand there and pray. It try to, a kind of, it will leave me, I, kind of, I, will, be, I will get relief. But sometimes when I try to fast, that it will come back again. I will start feeling the pain again. So it, just, it was just like that happening. So when I heard that our Father in the Lord is coming, and I just, today, when I heard that today is going to be our day for my group, for my region, so I said, today I'm going to sit face to face with the higher anointing. And I spoke to it, and I prayed, I laid my hand, I said, today you are not going back home with me. And when the prayer was going on there, in fact, I laid my hand, the, subs the subscription that the doctor gave to me, I raised it up, I laid one of my hands at, my, at that pain, where the pain uh, was. And as he was praying, the man of God, uh, generous pretending that he was praying, in fact, I felt like objects was rolling down my chest, to and fro, to and fro, to and fro. And the pain was depreciating, and just like that, at the last amen, the pain vanished away. And now I'm healed completely. To the name of the Lord be glorified in Jesus' name. Amen. We are expecting your own. Tomorrow is a Tuesday of Triumphant Tuesday. You will get yours in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's have the next testifier. Also gone. It was on and off, but it's gone now, gone forever. Miracle. Next testifier. What's the problem? Yeah. 
Praise the Lord. My name is Mercy Ufo from Karu region, Massacre. We came here because of my daughter. She was diagnosed of kidney problem. And because of the dialysis and the, they used to use the, the legs for the dialysis. That is where they put the wire. So the thing got her leg damaged. She cannot walk. Even when we are coming this evening, somebody brought us with the vehicle. People have to help us. She cannot enter the vehicle not to come out. Even to bring her legs down. I doesn't go to church because she, does, she cannot even move her legs. To turn on the bed is a problem. I've been carrying my 25 years old daughter like a baby. And this evening the Lord has done it for me. Hallelujah. She cannot walk. She cannot move up and down. You can see her. If not, before she can never do such thing like this. She can never do it. But today, God has done it for me. I praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And I know that the Lord will perfect the many things in Jesus' name. Amen. While trying to solve a problem, another problem was created. But the mighty God of heaven has done it, and the victory is won. Hallelujah. We take the last testi testimony now, and uh, get ready. You will go home with your own miracle. My name is Tolu Lope, Prince of Perry. I am from Kubwa in FCT Abuja. I want to thank God for, for helping me. Today, my chest started paining me. Then, in the evening, when we went to church, it was still paining me. But after the prayer of the man of God, my chest was healed. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Put your hands together for Jesus. The pain disappeared. Oh, the agony gone. The Lord set him free, and he's free indeed in Jesus' name. God has glorified his name again. He has done it again here and in other locations. There are other testimonies we are not able to listen to. Tomorrow, be, uh, be in your district, be in your location, and all who are expected to be here, be here. We will hear more testimonies in Jesus' name. Remember the prophetic declaration of the man of God. Tomorrow is what kind of Tuesday? Oh, shout it, let me hear you. And uh, that, that's really significant, you know. That's the last day of this program. So all of us, we are going to celebrate. We are going to triumph together. It's going to be triumphant. Rise up and let's worship the Lord and thank him for what he has done. Give God the glory. Give God the praise. Praise the name of the Lord. Magnify him for the miracles. Glorify him for the testimonies. Thank him for the souls that are saved. Thank him for the people that were healed. Thank him for the people that were delivered. Thank you, Lord, for Miracle Monday. Praise the name of the Lord for this Miracle Monday. A special Bible study. A special swearing high crusade. A special Monday, Miracle Monday. Give God the glory. Give God the praise. In Jesus' name we pray. I want you to pray that tomorrow will be triumphant Tuesday for you and for all the participants in this program. That God will prepare a servant and greater anointing, greater miracle. It will be triumphant Tuesday for every one of us. Pray and tell the Lord, let it be. Let there be double passion on your servant, the man of God that will be used to minister unto us. And let it be double miracle. For every one of us, pray it will be triumphant Tuesday indeed. Nothing will hinder us. Nothing will hinder us from receiving our miracles. Pray that the Lord will go with us as we go now. The Lord will go with us and defend us. Praise the name of the Lord for answering our prayer. Thank him for the answer to our prayers. 
In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the wonderful things you've done. Thank you for the demonstration of your power. Thank you for the miracles here in all the states and all others connecting through the internet. Thank you for the wonderful, marvelous things you have done. We give you glory for this miracle Monday. All glory be unto you, Lord, in Jesus' name. We pray as declared by your servant, tomorrow will be triumphant Tuesday for all of us. In Jesus' name. As you go now, go with us, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for the answer. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. A bigger amen. Don't come alone. Come along with others. Invite them, text them, and send them messages to come and join us in our various districts in the program.